Hi there, my name is Jason DeWild and I'm the Head of Audio here at the Australian Institute of Music and welcome to a really quick micro lecture on side chain compression. It's a bit of a flavour term of the month um, and somebody wrote in on YouTube to uh, ask how this is done on Pro Tools. Let's have a look. So um, here's a quick little thing on uh, how to do side chain compression in Pro Tools. Um, so just quick explanation, I've got uh, two tracks here, so I've got this sort of uh, loop here. All right, and with that, there's sort of a massive pad track. Okay, so what we're gonna do is use sidechain compression to make the pad um, duck under the uh, under the kick drum of the loop so that's effectively what side chain compression does um, it just compresses when it gets an external trigger so uh, that's the idea of it so um, i'm going to firstly insert on the pad track i'm going to insert a compressor and i'll just use the standard avid plugin so dynamic 3 compressor and there it is and obviously now this is not side chaining at the moment so it's just getting compression on the actual pad signal itself all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to just set up the side chain aspect so here is the com the side chain part of the um of the compressor itself so the first thing you need to do is enable it and so there is the key that enables it now now that you've enabled it the compressor will uh, pass signal through, but there's no compression, no compression taking place because there's no uh, side chain actually going on at the moment. So once you've enabled it, you have this thing here, which is the key input. So this is determining what signal is actually triggering the compression. So at the moment, there's no key input. So what I'm going to do is choose a bus and I'm going to choose my next available bus, which is bus nine. OK, now um, I'll leave that open. The next thing I do is come up to the loop itself and create a send on that. And I'm going to make the send the same as the key input. So uh, the send will be bus nine. And here we are. Okay, now I'm going to just rename that and I'll just call this compression trigger. Okay, so basically the idea of it is anything that I send on this bus, uh, bus 9, will end up being the sidechain triggering uh, for this compressor. All right, so all I'm going to do is now just send, turn up the send. And um, so what you'll see is actually I'll turn it down now. And then as I turn it up the send, you'll see some compression starting to take place. So this is the compression on the pad track, but it's been triggered by the kick drum mainly of the loop. So here we go. And you can see that compression starting to take place. And you can hear it as well. So I'll pull it out again. Okay, and then so that's to set it up really, really straightforward. And then what you potentially are doing now is adjusting the amount of compression by using the thresholds. So I'm going to make make this threshold a little lower um, but the key will be in setting up the attack and release because that actually achieves that sort of rhythmic pumping effect that you're kind of going for so So I'll just bypass it so you can hear it. No side chain at all. Side chain. So it's pretty easy to set up. Hope you found that enjoyable and catch you next time. So I hope you enjoyed that micro lecture. Keep the questions and comments coming and don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV or any of the AIM channels.
Till next time, see you later.